Here we are with Jujutsu Kaisen episode 3 and yeah last episode we got accepted in the Jujutsu tech school I guess at least Itadori was uh, accepted right and now he goes on missions with others I guess to find the fingers of Ryom Ryomen I think it's pronounced or called and eats them and then eventually gets destroyed if he ate all of them right if the plan isn't changing right um but yeah so we also might see the girl i was i am anticipating today hopefully so i guess we will see but yeah if you like what you see leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think and i would say let's get to the episode <laughs> Organization, something he doesn't know. Gonna pick up the third year. I guess that's hopefully the girl, right? There she is. Oh, let's go. Right? <laughs> I guess that's not a common thing. Mm -hmm. I guess if you're in that field, right, then you have special circumstances. I guess there's no one that is normal. <laughs> he knows what he likes or what? Or he just likes it. Potential model. Oh, is he going to her now? She looks good. Let's talk to her. Oh, she goes to him. Oh! <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> Rock. Rook. Or is it supposed to be rock? <laughs> of course. People like Go uh, Gojo. Nobara, okay. I mean, yes. I would be honored. <laughs> I would be very honored. Let me guess, she doesn't like Itadori. <laughs> oh my god. She is different than I thought. What? And what does she think of Gojo? So these three are all first years. I mean, I knew that Itadori and Nobo Nobara um, our first years, but him, the black haired dude. <laughs> okay, maybe they, maybe they get along. <laughs> I guess maybe they get along. Not what they expected, I guess. <laughs> I wouldn't say fear. I would maybe more say like sadness. Right? Indeed he did! Yeah, right. You ate a curse. I can't really get a grasp. Of her, really, she is like interesting, right? On one side, she's like very like seems arrogant and strict, right? But on the other side, she's also a bit like, uh, yeah, weird, awkward. Okay, I mean, I guess they know what Itadori can do. Yeah, right? Isn't this the whole job? 
<laughs> of course, she kicks him. Isn't she a newbie too? I guess that's like the arrogant part of her, I guess. Oh, there we go. Good reflexes. And the OST is good. <laughs> good damn. In his skull. I wonder if they even have skulls. Oh. They take the form. He just doesn't give a fuck, it seems like. Yeah. I guess she can be pretty crazy. Oh, let's see what she can do. I'm hyped, man. <laughs> okay, she hammer and nails. How does she fight with that? Is she like nailing them or something or is she like throwing the nails or whatever okay she can do stuff with it indeed she can do stuff with it okay good damn i guess she can use it quite often because i mean you can carry lots of nails right i guess so because there are more people right so they can feed on more emotions and all that shit right i guess that's the whole thing I guess in like a big city are, are more intense intense emotions and more emotions. <clears throat> Which is very interesting, right? Ugh. But I guess I guess she can deal with it. <laughs> God damn dude! That's an interesting power. Nailed it! <laughs> of course! But I guess it's not over yet? There's not. What? A kid? Is this a curse? Hiding or like disguising it as a kid? What did she say? I was talking. <laughs> okay, so it was just a hostage. I was wondering if maybe the curses could disguise themselves as humans. That would be really nasty. But also the intelligence, the cunning. Interesting. I mean, I mean, I guess it makes sense if they come from the human mind, like the power. The more people, the more mind. There is basically they can feed on or something. So there is a lot that which can be impacted, right? <laughs> is that a plan? Fuck the kid. Saori. Oh, Itadori? <laughs> yep, he doesn't care. Slice you. Oh, she has a voodoo doll. <laughs> Creepy. Oh, she connected to the arm and so it's connected to him. Yeah. God damn. That's badass. <laughs> She's crazy, alright. Okay, some backstory. A little bit. Oh, to Tokyo. So that's why she wanted to go to Tokyo, maybe? 
I mean, he didn't. He just said she should take it more serious. Well, he is not normal. <laughs> Nani! I don't think that's all. I wonder if we will see Saori. But I could imagine that there will be, if we see her, that there could be some dark shit happening. Maybe that she gets killed by a curse or something. <laughs> Man, she's so weird. <laughs> Same. Girl to my liking. <laughs> nice dress. Let me guess, it's something not as good as expected. <laughs> Aww. Man, this is like a very weird constellation of a group, right? Detective Center? In the sky. Curse womb. Okay, they go there next, I guess. Uh, what? Spoiler? <laughs> One of them dies. Spoiler. <laughs> I guess I guess I don't really get that right because I've never had sushi and it's I guess it's more like based on Japanese sushi stuff, right? So Something I wouldn't understand even if I had juicy, juicy, sushi here where I live. Um, so I guess that's something that is a bit over my head. Um, but yeah, I love some banter. Okay, another episode done. And I would say interesting, right? Because the whole party constellation with uh, Nobara and Itadori and the black hair dude, which name I don't have right now. I can't remember. And Gojo, um, it's a weird constellation. I mean, Gojo aside, I would say, let's focus on the first years. You have Black Hair Dude, which name I can't remember right now. Um, he is very like serious and strict, right? Then we have Itadori, who is like very like carefree and relaxed, right? And then we have pretty much Nobara, who is like in the middle, I would say. She has like some. A serious side to to her and she also has like an more like awkward and like more relaxed side with banter to her right so she's like pretty much in the middle between those two and goes like in one or the other direction one extreme or the other extreme she can joke around with itadori a bit like when it was about food and all that stuff where they want to go but otherwise she's also like very like more serious arrogant and strict um so i guess it's a very interesting uh party constellation in that regard and i would say that nobara i was looking forward to her and she is definitely weird she's not how i would have imagined her and so yeah interesting to see the next mission where they go to this flying womb or whatever that is and apparently someone dies <clears throat> so I guess no one dies, but I'm 
because I think that no one dies, I'm curious to see who dies, right? If that makes sense somewhat, maybe. I don't think so, but okay. So yeah, if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say thanks for watching and until next time. Bye-bye.